All right, we're uh, headed to a buddy's house. He. Let's see if we get some light on the subject here, maybe. Yeah. Uh, he gave me a call about a month ago, three and a half weeks ago, because his truck was making real bad starter noise. And uh, so I had him uh, bring it over that evening. And just a background here, he's got a Ford F-150, uh, 2018, and it is a V6 uh, EcoBoost, which is turbocharged, and 3.5 liter uh, four wheel drive. Uh, it's been a great truck. I wanna say it has 114,000 miles on it. And uh, he really takes care of his truck. Uh, you know, services it regularly, whatever. But you know, so he had this starter noise. Uh, so he brought it over and uh, pulled it into the garage and started up. And I was listening, and sure enough, there's a huge noise. It sounded like a diesel truck, but didn't seem like it was coming from the starter and so I had him do it a couple times and uh, like I feel like it's coming from the valve train over in this area it was the passenger front part of the engine block as far as I can tell and uh, so we knew it wasn't the starter sent him on his way and then I uh, just started researching it on the computer and sure enough it's a known issue with uh, that particular engine. And it's our red and red and in and talking with them, you know, it wasn't much hope. People have been very frustrated with this issue. So uh, I recalled uh, Scotty Kilmer on YouTube talking about this uh, oil cleaning product developed in New Mexico. Let's see. We got it right here. ATS chemical. And uh, 505 uh, CRO is an oil system uh, cleaner. So I told my friend about this. And said, and I think I showed him Scotty's video or sent him a link to it. And it's one of those things uh, I think my comment was uh, you know, Scotty's my generation we don't believe in these snake oil type of uh, additives and things like that but and, and Scotty says this, but this one's kind of got his mind changed and so it, it, it's worth trying that that's what it really comes down to I mean that's been my mantra is uh, something leaks I always put in some kind of magic leak fixer and it never fixes it but I always spend uh, four dollars or eleven dollars whatever it is I always have to try it at least because it can make such a difference instead of doing a major repair well same thing here is like you know, I got nothing else I'm gonna go ahead and do this so he told me he was gonna order it and about two weeks later he said I got a notice from Toyota and or excuse me from uh, Ford and They've got a, a potential fix for this uh, noise at startup. And so I've scheduled a, an appointment. It's fantastic. So uh, he went to the dealer and they did their fix, which was a reprogramming. And to be honest, I don't know what they reprogrammed. I have no idea what they reprogrammed. Uh, but it did not fix it. So. He went ahead and placed his order for the uh, the treatment. It came in, and two nights ago we, uh, we went through the procedure and uh, and documented it. Which hopefully I'll, I'll cut that video here in a while and, and put that on. Uh, and it, it took us a while. It's just it's not our thing. Uh, and. It was all complete after uh, we had done the cleaning of the oil, drained it out, put the fresh oil in, got our uh, camera there ready to uh, record. 
cord, turn it on, rattle, rattle, rattle. Prior to me even turning the key, I had said, this really isn't a fair test. I said, if it rattles, it may be because we've drained all the oil out of the system, out of the oil pump, everything. I mean, just a normal oil change thing. And you, you drain all the oil. That's not normal for an engine. And so the first start up after an oil change, perhaps a rattle is to be expected. So I'm not going to say it's a failed test if it does, if it rattles on initial startup after the oil change. But the problem is, so then he turns off, starts it again, no rattle. That's not a test because it's all about oil pressure up to the uh, valve train, and so the oil is already there. And, and same thing with it being warm versus cold. Uh, you can only really test it when it's cold. That's when he's experiencing the problem. It is not subtle. It is full-on diesel rattle, and then it disappears within uh, two to five seconds uh, as the oil gets up there and uh, lubricates the valve train fills all the passages or whatever it's doing so yeah he headed home and um you know we talked about whether we thought it was gonna be successful or not i put the odds I, i'm not real hopeful just because of that rattle you know but um we'll see so next day he calls me jeff no rattle uh, so when he went out that morning, uh, which would be yesterday morning, no rattle. And uh, I said, well, test it again at lunch and let me know. And if uh, it continues not to rattle, I'd like to film it tomorrow morning. So get a text after lunch, went to lunch, started up, no rattle. And uh, so we scheduled to, this morning for me to come film it. And just got a text from him said Jeff went after work so I got to work at you know 7 30 I work till noon uh, so no rattle in the morning no rattle at the lunch startup uh, you know and then after work started up no rattle but then he went to a friend's house to help him do something right. got in his truck an hour and a half later to come home it rattled so, where we are on a very much of a high uh, the last 24 hours, that's kind of some disappointing news. And in my mind, I'm trying to make an uh, excuse for uh, how it may have been a, a fleeting thing. And so that's why I said, I want to come film anyway, because uh, we need to find out if this is just a one-time deal uh, that made it rattle, or is it come back? So... That's what we're going to do is go uh, film the startup of my friend going to work. Let's see what else. Uh, so, I, you know, reading about this problem, people mention phasers as maybe uh, what is the problem is. I don't even know what a phaser is. Something on the valve train. Talk. Maybe it's a uh, timing chain tensioner that uh, the tension is provided by um, you know it's a mechanical wheel that pushes into the chain and tightens it, and this mechanical wheel is pushed by oil pressure coming up, and the very beginning uh, is not getting much tension, and it takes the uh, a few, a little bit of time for the oil uh, pump to build up enough pressure to push that uh, tensioner into the chain to uh, stop the rattle. You know whether this Toyota is designed, excuse me, this Ford is designed that way. I don't know. Uh, so I don't know if that really is the issue. But the, the thought process being, and that's why it happens when it's cold, when it's warm, then. Uh, you know, the oil's already up there. It doesn't have to fill those passages. Uh, so, so the valve that, or excuse me, the actuating piston that pushes on the uh, uh, tensioning wheel is gummed up, and so it's not sliding smoothly in its passage is the thought process. So 
running this oil cleaner through there will clean that up and so the second it gets oil pressure it's full punched in there giving full tension on the timing chain for cars designed that way or engines designed that way that's a, a valid uh, description of what could happen if you had a piston that's just not running well in its cylinder this is a uh, hydraulic I'm talking about that kind of piston um, that's a, a legitimate explanation why an oil cleaner might work to clean the sludge out of there and all of a sudden it moves very freely just like when it was in. Uh, other things it, it maybe there's you know clogs in the oil screen that pulls the oil into the pump the passages might have some buildup of carbon in them or, or different gunk and, uh, and so all those things would lead possibly to uh, the oil not being quick and getting to its uh, assigned duties and so if you can eliminate that sludge, that grunge, carbon deposits, obstructions solve the problem because uh, you know 10 seconds after startup the problem's gone the engine's uh, not rattling anymore oil is lubricating there's not an issue but when you pay I mean I don't know what that truck costs what is it 2018 Ford F-150 you know double cab four wheel drive EcoBoost 6 cost I'm not sure it's Thirty-five, forty thousand back then, if not more. Uh, you pay that kind of money at one hundred fourteen thousand miles. You're not expecting an engine issue, and uh, you know people can argue whether it's an engine issue. It's, those of us that listen to our engines would hear that and not be happy that it's clattering like that. So. Not far away from his house. When we get there, we'll uh, film and we'll see what it sounds like after sitting, I assume, just about 12 hours, 64 degrees out. So it would be the description of a, a cold engine. Cold being relative, not that 64 is cold. That uh, certainly in the last month when he's having this problem. Suitable test. If it, there's not going to be an environmental factor that keeps it from rattling. If it doesn't rattle, it's because of the treatment. Because it rattled every time you started it since out of the blue that uh, started happening. So uh, if it doesn't rattle, uh, something changed, and it was that oil treatment. Uh, yeah, 36 hours ago, I guess. The process we used to uh, change it in the video, brought the uh, truck over, he had about uh, 5,000 miles, the change oil light was on, um, and we drained his uh, dirty oil out, captured a little bit of that dirty oil so that we could compare it, uh, put it, a small amount of that in a, a white bucket, and then uh, changed the filter. Then. Because of this video only, not because it's required by the manufacturer of the cleansing product, we put in fresh oil and a fresh filter, and then put the cleaning product in with it. We ran the truck at high idle for, it says 10 minutes or more, we probably went 13 to 14 minutes. of buying this clean oil was I wanted to see what the oil looked like after it did its cleaning and if you did add it to dirty oil you can't tell is it dirty because it was already dirty or because this cleaner has pulled some cleanness out man I just passed a truck going by me that looked exactly like his truck but 
red Ford uh, truck in Texas. Uh, it's possibly wasn't just here. Since that's what I'm driving through. Um, so I, I captured that fresh oil that had only been in there for uh, 14 minutes plus the cleaner. It ran 14 minutes. We drained it and I captured a portion of it. And sure enough, it was uh, dirty. It was very thin uh, because the cleaner is, it's, it's almost like, like rubbing alcohol. Uh, you know, kind of a watery type of uh, thickness and the smell is alcoholic. So uh, it makes me think of rubbing alcohol. Anyway, the, the oil that came out, the oil slash oil cleaner mixture was thin, but it was black. You know, we put in clear oil, and if you've ever changed oil, you know, you can't even see it on the stick, it's so clear. And, uh, you know, for two, three hundred miles before there's just enough particulates uh, to where you can see it. But in this case, it was black. I mean, it wasn't the blackest I've ever seen, but it was definitely black, so it had done a job. I mean, it, like I said, the oil should have been clear instead it was black, so the cleanser did clean. And, uh, and then we put it on a new filter, plugged it, put it in fresh oil, and so started up in the ramp. So now we're going to see what it does this morning. I see his hood's up. Good, so that was nice. Jeff just pulled up, so I'm, you're, if you're on speaker, be careful. Yeah, watch hey. your language. You just, you just pulled up. Jeff Wyatt, I mean, they're, 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 he's filming my truck as I started to see where their clatters. It didn't, cl we did that oral treatment over there. And, yeah. and uh, anyway, it didn't clatter for four starts. And then last night when I, when I started, it clattered. So he was going to, so he'd already, he, he'd already, he'd already arranged it to come here to see, <laughs> see if the treatment worked, you know, and, and, and film it not clattering. But I, I, it's it's kind of exciting to find out whether it's going to happen this morning. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Well, it clattered. It wasn't a big clatter, but it definitely clattered. It was definitely a clatter. Oh, was it less? It was more last night. Yeah. That was less than normal. It was? So oh, yeah. maybe improvement? I'm hoping. But, you know, that was less than normal. That, that you know, That's not that big. I don't know what's it. I'll show you your skin. Here. Okay, so we just started it, and it rattled. Turned it off, talked, and he started up to leave. No rattle. So we're going to try it one more time here. No rattle. Okay, we just finished uh, hearing about his truck, did the startup, and it uh, rattled on the startup on a cold morning. So it's been, we did it maybe 8 o'clock, um, what is today, Wednesday, Wednesday night, no, was, yeah, Wednesday night, uh, it's Friday morning, so uh, 36 hours. So 36 hours ago, we did the treatment, and he had about five startups uh, after that from a cold situation, no rattle. Last night, cold situation, he had a, a rattle. This morning, uh, you heard how long the rattle was. <clears throat> I talked to him just now, and he said, before the treatment, it would rattle longer, and um, and then it would rattle multiple times when it was kind of coolish. Uh, this time, the reason I went back up there is um, he'd started it, it rattled, then he turned it off, we talked a little bit, and then I left so he'd go to work, he went to start it, no rattle. And so he called me back over, Jeff, it's not rattling. 
and so we went ahead and uh and started filming again and, and you heard the second time just uh i can't remember how to look either no ra no rattle or the briefest of rattle so i asked him so do you think it's a improvement but not a fix and it's like well uh yes it's definitely an improvement um and <clears throat> particularly if it only rattles for you know four seconds you know the the first start after a cold thing that's a lot better than uh rattling every time uh he starts even you know because the first time he brought it to me he had drove over we didn't know it was oil related and so he drove over stopped we talked a little bit popped the hood and i said okay let's hear your starter because that's what i thought it was and immediately huge clatter so he had just driven over across town so it, it, the truck was totally warm at that point and so at that portion of the symptoms it was very much clatter even when it was warm it's just on initial start uh even if it wasn't warm excuse me even if it wasn't cold it would still rattle i think uh, since it wasn't me experience it this is i mean I, I saw it but i didn't experience it on a regular basis so i can't say for, with certainty but so I, I, if my truck had this issue i would be using this stuff because i think there's been a significant improvement and noise to me equals uh wear and so i would not want my car to experience any kind of wear they always say the the hardest thing on your car is that when you first start it uh it does more wear during those first few seconds than driving you know 500 miles it's just because the lubrication is not up there and honestly vehicles are, are really well made and the materials used that wears not the issue it was you know 40 years ago when you run that engine 70,000 miles and uh need uh, to be bored out and put new pistons and rings in it or you know just an engine overhaul and, and it's like that's not the weak point anymore uh, but valve trains and uh, turbochargers you get those things and they do wear out so you don't want noise because noise means no oil and so <clears throat> this um this product ats chemical 505 cro uh if i had a ego boost f-150 and i was having that rattling noise i would without a doubt do the treatment uh and i don't know it's possible i might do it the next time i change my oil too right before i change the oil i put it in run it for uh 10 or 15 minutes at high idle and then do my oil change uh i could see you know myself doing that and uh hopefully getting some improvement all right I'm going to drive back. Let me let you guys see a little bit of Texas here. I think it's funny here this uh about two minutes ago is the first time i found out the price on this uh additive and uh at this point in time uh it's december of 2021 uh it's 50 dollars for uh a two pack one of oil cleaner and one of the fuel system cleaner and both are supposed to be exceptional products 
in this particular analysis of the Ford F-150 with the EcoBoost 3.5 liter uh, turbocharged that has the clatter, uh, I would not say that it's going to solve the problem. Uh, I think it might improve it. And uh, in fact, I, I talked to uh, Thomas and he and suggested that if it was me, I might just uh, do another bottle of it in 5,000 miles uh, or whenever his change oil light comes on. And uh, he was all for it. Yeah, let's do it. And uh, so for another $25, so when it, it's time to change his oil, you know, you just come over, we'll stick that in there. We'll probably run it, I'm thinking about 15 minutes this time um, at the high idle and uh, clean it out. And so that'll be two shots at the cleanser and see if it uh, is better. I looked at the video and I did see that, uh, so this morning it was about a one second amount of time that it rattled. Uh, uh, that's an improvement, it used to be longer and uh but it's still rattling so it didn't solve it uh the second thing is uh, and i did look at the video when we started the second time or i guess it was his third time uh this morning um uh, it there was no rattle then and i think that also is uh an improvement because like i said in the video um the first night he came here about yeah, I can't remember now. Uh, and we thought it was a starter. He drove clear across town, you know, 40 minute drive, got here, we talked a little bit, started, and then he started up so I could hear the starter noise. And I was like, it's not a starter problem, it's something in your valve chain. So my point being, when it was warm in the past, it still rattled. So for the last month that he's been having this problem, it's happened warm and cold, just more pronounced when it was cold. Now, it's happening when it's cold, uh, but it's not happening on restarts. So uh, I think that's an improvement. It, you know, it's one thing to live with the truck every day, and so he'll have a better sense of that uh, than I will. Um, but I'm all on board for doing it one more time. For 25 bucks, uh, I wouldn't hesitate if I had that vehicle. And, uh, and I, I'm very curious, what is the root problem of this F-150 uh, noise, you know, is it is it oil pump not getting oil up there? Is it an oil pump issue as opposed to all the passageways that we're cleaning out? Uh, is it a phaser problem? Uh, I'd be curious. It, you know, it just surprised me that Ford called them and said, uh, "Try, come on in. We we think we might have a fix for it. Bring it in there, and they reprogram something. No, nope, didn't fix it. So." Since it's prevalent out there, you would think they would know what the answer is. Oh yeah, it's a, a weak oil pump, or no, it's it's the phaser. There is no doubt about it. There's a mechanical issue that's the problem. Uh, but the fact that it fixes itself is just very odd. Uh, it fixes itself in the sense that it rattled initially, but then no more. Once the oil pressure's going, it's gone. Uh, and so maybe that is taking up some slack and something. But uh, if uh, I will try and, uh, and post the results of the second go around when we do another batch of it and see if by chance it, it solves it. I will say that I do believe that that oil cleaner does clean oil passages quite well. It was very impressive with the clean oil, uh, how dirty it was uh, when it finished up. And, uh, and so, brand new clean, you know, unadulterated oil in there and put the cleaner in it, run it for 14 minutes and then look at the oil, uh, almost black, you know, and so it cleaned out those passages very well. And, uh, and so I, I'm hopeful that uh, the next time, it's only because I'm, I'm positive, I, I want it to work uh, is the reason I'm hopeful. I'm actually not really, um, expecting uh, perfection after the next one. I don't feel like he'll never have a rattle again. Uh, now, if I was uh, driving a EcoBoost 3.5 liter V6 uh, Ford and I wasn't having a rattling problem, you know, I, probably at 75,000 miles I'd run 
before I change my oil, I'll stick a $25 bottle of this stuff in. Even not having a problem, um, I would stick that in and run it, you know, like I said, for 15, 10 or 15, I'd follow the instructions uh, and uh, run it through and clean out the passages before there's any uh, problem would be try to get ahead of the, pro uh, the problem. So if, um, if you're not experiencing a problem, that's I think every 75,000 miles, I think I would uh, run a model that through when I did my uh, oil change. Uh, we'll see what the other one does. I would not call this a, a, a success. I would say get this product and that'll fix your F-150 rattling uh, noise. No, that's not what I can say on this. I, I don't think that's the conclusion that should be drawn. Uh, I think there was improvement. Uh, but the thing that was odd is it worked perfectly. Uh, yesterday morning, no rattle. After uh, when he went to lunch, no rattle. After work, no rattle. It's like it was solved. And now it's come back. Minor, I mean, just a, a second. But is it gonna get worse? I mean, is next week it's gonna be back to four seconds instead of one second and be back to uh, rattling on every uh, startup, even if it's warm? I mean, that's will be interesting to see. Doesn't it? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this product. Uh, I think this, this Ford issue is, um, is a, a specialized thing, and we we're hoping this magic elixir would, would uh, fix it. But, um, feel like it's improved it and we're gonna try it again and it'd be wonderful if it fixed it but right now I would say it is not a fix uh, but it doesn't mean it's not a good product all right thanks for watching